Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a Bath and Body Works empties for you all. So really quick, I wanted to say this is a long video, so definitely go grab some tea, grab some popcorn, grab some wine, and enjoy. This is actually one plus year worth of empties. I don't even know when I filmed my last empties video. I'll have to go and check. I believe it was spring of 2020, if not earlier. I will link my last uh, empties video down below, but it's been quite some time. I know it's been at least, no, I know it's been well over a year since I've posted. Um, a empties video so yeah you guys i have not i have been using my bath and body works products over the last year and i just want to show you all this is what i'm working with and i'm gonna just hype right on in and show you all my thoughts on this um it's kind of nice to go through your items and use them up you know i know we go out and do a lot of hauls and things like that but it's so nice to like be able to use up all your products and see that your money isn't going to waste and so yeah Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on in and show you guys all the items that I purchased. So I'm gonna just gonna grab, I'm gonna just grab and go. I was gonna try to organize it and everything like that, but I feel like it's gonna take too long. So I'm gonna just hop on in and show you guys what I used up. So the first item here is Beautiful Day. This is what the packaging looks like here. Um, scent notes on it is Sunkissed Apple, Sparkling Cassis, Wild Daisies, Pink Peony, and Fresh Woods. Um, this scent was okay. I feel like I just got a lot of, I feel like it was a pear scent to this that I really didn't care for. I mean, it was okay. It's like a cool summer scent, um, but it wasn't anything. I feel like I remember liking this scent a lot more in the fine fragrance mist, but using it as a shower gel, it didn't really like impress me. Um, so yeah, I got through this beautiful day. The next item here is Pink Lily and Bamboo. This is what the packaging looks like here. Absolutely love this scent. Scent notes on it is pink lily, petals, bamboo leaf, pink ginger, um, fresh fig, and sauna wood. I absolutely love this scent, you guys. Yeah, it's such a nice, refreshing scent. Very fresh. A little bit florally. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I think I used this in the shower gel and in the lotion, so we'll see as I go through this empties. Um, but yeah, if you all haven't tried this out, you should. I have like, a, I think I have a backup of the body wash and then also a backup of the lotion. So yeah, I actually really enjoy that scent a lot. Next scent I used up here is Plumeria. I don't remember if I like this or not. Let's see. It uh, is pink Plumeria, a uh, Plumeria, uh, peach nectar, red apple. Um, night blooming jasmine and garden or gardenia petals. Let's see. Oh yeah, I actually really enjoyed this scent a lot. So this smells like a nice perfume, and this had really good lasting power. Like you could definitely still smell this on your skin after you got off the shower. So this was a really nice scent. I actually would recommend this and might consider repurchasing. Next item I have here is pink velvet cupcake. Um, this is what the packaging looks like here. Um, scent notes on it is sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugar praline. So, this is a really nice scent. It's very, very sweet. It almost just smells like sugar, but you, you can get like a cupcake smell from it. I like it as, a, I like it how it smells in a bottle more so than how it performed in the shower, if that makes sense. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with this scent. I just felt like it was it was it was a really light scent. Like I could barely smell it as I was putting it on my body during the shower. And so while I enjoy the scent, it's something I sadly wouldn't repurchase because I just feel like you can't really smell it once you're in the shower. And definitely you don't smell it when you get out the shower. But in the bottle, it smells amazing though. So I don't know what they did to get it to smell this good, but yeah, it's really nice. And it actually kind of reminds me of a perfume that I had. It reminds me of Pink Sugar from Aqualina. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this one. Okay, so the next item that actually my hubby used this one up, it's Mahogany Woods. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Okay, scent notes on this. Oh, one thing about this packaging that I really like is I like how like on the back panel here, they have like trees and stuff that you can kind of see through. So it's kind of like landscaping. I actually like the packaging on the men's uh shower gels for that reason oh whew, this is a good scent um so the scent notes on it is fresh mahogany bourbon vanilla and golden amber i mean these are just some great scents talk about a nice 
it, this is like a nice classic manly scent um my husband always smelled really good when he got out the shower after using this so ladies if a bath and body works still carry this and you're looking for a scent for hubby um i think he'd enjoy mahogany woods does it smell like mahogany teak wood no it doesn't but it does smell really good so yeah got that one that i used up um next scent that i have here is beach night summer marshmallow you guys okay so i feel like this scent was really hyped up on youtube for a really long time and it was a while before i got my hands on it but i completely see why this is an amazing scent the scent notes on this is toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord drift beach driftwood and creamy vanilla you guys ah oh, it just smells like a really good like smoky smoky marshmallow while at the beach it's like a smoky marshmallow at the beach oh it smells so so good the lasting power on it was really good i still smelt it on me after i got out the shower lather was beautiful and the scent was just really nice and crisp inside of the shower so if i find this again i'm definitely going to pick it up beach night Beach Night Summer Marshmallow is just absolutely amazing. I see it was definitely worth the hype and I wish I had it picked up more um, when I had it, when I had the chance. I don't even know if they carry that scent anymore, but if I find it again, I will get it. Next item that I used up is a uh, moisturizing body wash, which is in the scent Desert Wildflower. That is what this looks like. Scent notes on this is um, wildflowers, jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Ooh, it's kind of messy in here <laughs> but uh let's see if i can get a whiff of the smell oh yeah this is a really this is a really good scent too i think i picked up two of these when i hauled it so i think i actually have one more of these in my collection i really enjoyed it it is moisturizing and um the smell on this is really good it smells like a strong perfume um and it does smell like a flower it smells like a like a flower that's kind of kind of smells like what it sounds like a flower that's kind of out in like a dry area like in the middle of nowhere it smells really good though i highly recommend this scent it's really good i feel like i slept on it when i seen it on sale and i should have got more of these but yeah desert wildflower i went through one of these i also went through let's see a midnight pomegranate um i don't know if you all remember my review on this but i feel like it was a little bit too strong and a little bit too spicy for my taste um scent notes on it is Ruby red pomegranate, sparkling cassis, white jasmine, blackberry spice, and patchouli. I feel like that blackberry spice is like super strong. Like to me, it almost smells like, no, it's not cinnamon. I thought I, thought I remember the cinnamon smell to it, but it's not. It's just, it's just a really strong spice. And maybe it is that blackberry spice, but it was too much for me in the shower and I actually couldn't use it that way. Ended up using it as a hand soap and really enjoyed it like that. So um i think i went through two of these i'm not really sure we'll see as i go through the rest of my empties but if i did you'll see that i know i had two of these in my collection the next scent here is sensual uh it's an aromatherapy sensual black currant vanilla um i really like this scent a lot you guys this is a very nice deep seductive scent lather on it was really good performance was excellent um scent notes on it here is it just says black currant absolute and vanilla absolute i think it's just black currant and vanilla and you guys this stuff smells really really good i know oh, it's just it's strong a little spicy i don't really get the vanilla in it maybe it's very very subtle but that black currant is strong and it is beautiful it's very deep and seductive and i believe i use the matching uh body cream to this let me see if i can find it i know that i have the uh the body cream to this so if i use it up we'll see and if not i'll be excited to use it when i do have it because i'm happy to still have something like this in my collection i think i only got one of each of these um the next item i used up here is ice peach margarita that's what the packaging looks like here scent notes on this is fiesta pear baja Lim limon uh, mango flower mayan sugar cane and mexican sandalwood oh yeah this was a really nice scent okay yeah it just smelled like a um like a fruity pear if that makes sense like you can smell the pear it's the most prominent scent in it but it's just like a it's like a 
like a a funky pair if that makes sense. I don't really know how to describe it but it's like a pair that has like a lot of things mixed into it which I think lends to uh, ice pear margarita. Yeah. This summer, this scent is really good for the summertime. I highly recommend it and I would be purchasing it if I saw it again. Um, oh, you guys. Okay, so this is so old. Okay, I was going through my car and I used to keep this in my car in like an overnight bag that I barely ever used. And so this is a really old, this is like vintage <laughs> Bath and Body Works. But I found it and I found a way to use it up. So this is a Pleasure Sensual Amber Body Cream. Look at how old this packaging is, you guys. I have had this pack, I have had this for well over... I've had this for well over a decade, okay? So I've had this for a very, very, very long time. Um, scent notes on this is, um, so it's funny, I'm gonna show you all the back of it too, just so you can see how they used to do the packaging. I just thought it was so funny when I found this. So the back of it says, uh, pink lotus petals enveloped by golden, a piece of precious amber, seductive, rich, and beautiful. And yeah, it says nat naturally pampering ingredients Nourishing avocado oil, smoothing fruit enzymes, conditioning, can calendula and almond oils. Wait, so they used to put oils in their body creams? Okay, so that's new to me. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. But you guys, this packaging is so old. You can see that it's like it started like peeling and everything. But honestly, it kept the scent. Like it still smells pretty good um the way i ended up using this up i probably should have threw it out but i didn't i ended up using this up by just breaking it up into um a bath like i normally do and enjoying the scent that way it did turn liquidy on me and things like that but again i just put it in a bath and used it up so yeah vintage bath and body works let me all let me know if you all had this packaging when it came out years and years and years ago i can't believe i stumbled upon this but yeah i've had this for a very long time um the next thing that my hubby used up is dark amber for men it's a two-in-one hair and body wash that's what the packaging looks like scent notes on this is do 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 okay it just has like a little thing it says unwind by the glow of candling bonfire with dark amber and smooth blend of fresh bergamot, warm amber, and dark woods. Yeah, okay, just another classic manly scent. I mean, it's good, um, nothing too spectacular, but yeah, he enjoyed it in the shower, so yeah, I, I'm always excited to get him new shower gels for him to try out. Next item I have here is Wild Honeysuckle. Scent notes on this is Watery Honeydew, Wild honey Honeysuckle, Rain Kiss Jasmine, Orange Flower, and White Woods. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I remember not really caring for this too much. Yeah, it just smells too florally for me. It smells, yeah, it just smells too florally for me. I didn't get any other scents in here that I like besides the honeysuckle. So I wish the orange flower had it came out a little bit more in this scent. I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Next thing that I used up here is a, a deep cleansing hand soap. Um, I have this in the scent Coconut Lime Verbena. Scent notes on this is... An island blend of zesty lime, lemon, lime, lemon, verbena, and coconut water. So that's what the packaging looks like here. Um, yeah, I love this scent a lot. It's just a nice, great lime scent. So yeah, I highly recommend this if you all are in the market for a hand soap. Um, not sure if they still have it out currently right now, but I definitely enjoyed this scent a lot. Next item I want to mention, it's kind of an honorable mention, it's not a Bath and Body Works product, but it is a body wash and it is by Caress and it's the brown sugar, I'm sorry, shea butter and brown sugar. This is what the packaging looks like. You guys, I feel like I've been asleep on Caress. I used this product years ago and that's, it was back when it was called um, burnt sugar and uh, keratin butter or something along those lines but i think this is the new reformulated version of it and it really is just shea butter and brown sugar but when i say it smells so delectable and especially in the shower oh it just feels so good every time i use it like oh i love this scent so much i just remember every time i use this while i was in the shower i was just i, I felt happy like i was in a good mood it's and it's and it's exfoliating to you all so it has like these little beads in it that like scrub it like gently scrubs your skin and just leaves like a nice smooth canvas and your skin looks like it's glowing when you get out the shower so i actually would highly recommend this the other thing i like about this scent is if you lather with it at least two times which i always lather twice when i'm in the shower if not more 
but if you love it with this at least twice this scent is going to last on your skin for hours like i remember i used this and i think i paired it with um in the stars from bath and body works like the fine fragrance mist and everything and when i say that scent lasted on me all night i smelled it the next day in the morning like wow like i was impressed with this so i actually have two more of these i have the big bottle with the like pump on it because it is so so good i might have to make another dedicated video to this scent alone but it's really good if you all haven't tried any products from caress uh go ahead and check them out especially this scent this is probably my favorite one um from the line so yeah wanted to mention that next item that i have here speaking of in the stars is in the stars um this is definitely one of my top five fragrances from bath and body works just absolutely love this scent packaging is stunning scent is amazing lasting power is phenomenal if you all haven't tried this if you don't have any collection just go get it like thank me later okay um, so the scent notes on this is Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Argwood, and Radiant Amber. I mean, it just smells so good. Like, it smells like a very classy, high-end perfume. Like, it is really good. So I actually paired this with the body cream and the fine fragrance mist. So see if i have okay yeah so here's the body cream that i used up i always cut my body creams open and get every last drop out so as you can see i used this completely up you guys so yeah i used up body cream and a shower gel and i'm actually still working on the fine fragrance mist um i'm actually kind of taking my time with that because i don't want to use it up too quickly um but this scent is amazing and honestly if you use the body wash the body cream along with the fine fragrance mist and pair it with ariana grande in the cloud you'll thank me later it smells so good and the lasting power is amazing i actually wore this scent back home recently and i received numerous compliments from family members and friends and so yeah definitely check this scent out you guys will not regret it so the next scent i have here is a thousand wishes this scent is really good it had to grow on me a little bit though i it smells like a perfumey scent it smells like a nice elegant woman actually it's very soft and subtle a little bit of fruitiness to it but not a lot yeah i really like this scent a lot i actually went through a whole bottle of a fine fragrance mist it's not easy for me to go through these so i was happy to finish this off um i do like it might repurchase not sure if it's a definite or not the next thing i used up here is another one of my all-time favorite scents i have gone through a fine fragrance mist in this um scent and it is mad about you that's what the packaging looks like scent notes on this is um a uh, blend of black currant, bright peony, and pink jasmine kissed with white patchouli and vanilla musk. I love this scent so much. I mean, this just smells really, really good. I don't even know. It smells like a sophisticated perfume. I feel like they blended this very well. And all the notes mix nicely together. Yeah, I like this scent a lot. I think I have another shower gel of this on backup. And if I can find this in a fine fragrance mist again, I would gladly pick it up. Um, if you all haven't tried this scent, highly recommend it. Love it. Another scent that I used up is, looks like Grapefruit Breeze. It was in the body cream form. That's what it looks like. I like this scent. Um, it wasn't something that I was like crazy about, but it wasn't like a horrible scent either. Um, scent notes on it is Sprints, is a spritz of pink grapefruit, a bunch of iced raspberry, and a squeeze of lime. So, I mean, it was okay. You get most of those scents in this, um in this fragrance and you get most of the scents in this body cream but the lasting power wasn't that great it wasn't really that moisturizing so i probably wouldn't repurchase this but it was good while i used it next scent i have here now this body cream actually performed amazing it's from the aromatherapy line and it is called joyful so this is what the packaging looks like sorry i cut it open here but that's what the packaging looks like um scent notes on it is black currant pine with essential oils you all, this scent is awesome. Joyful, you will be joyous while you're using this, okay? It smells really good. Um, the best thing that I can compare this to, it just smells like a nice pine tree. And it's weird because, you know, during the winter when you uh, light like the pine tree candles and stuff, it kind of smells like this in uh, the body lotion form. But I think that Black Current Absolute really gives it a, a nice, soft kind of... Um, nice soft touch it softens it and kind of smooths it out a little bit so yeah highly recommend this i only saw one when i hauled it um way back when and i i would pick it up again if i saw it so yeah like this scent a lot next item i used up is uh winter candy apple 
Um, this is what the packaging looks like on this one. Scent notes on this is red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. You guys, this is an amazing scent. It smells so good. It's just a really great red candy apple smell. It's a sweet red candy apple smell. Like, you can't go wrong with uh, winter candy apple. I have, I think, maybe two or three backs up, backups of the shower gel. And yeah, I really enjoy it a lot. I think I have a lotion too that I'm still using, um, but really enjoy this scent a lot. Would highly recommend it. It's one of my top favorite winter scents. Speaking of winter scents, um, one of my all time favorite winter scents, probably one of my top five favorite scents from Bath and Body Works in general is uh, Coconut Mint Drop. Um, this is a packaging on this particular one. I really love this rose gold here. Scent notes on this one is um, white coconut, ice peppermint, winter musk. These three scents together, I mean, make such a beautiful, oh, such a beautiful scent. Oh, it just reminds me of a great chocolatey mint oh, with a twist of sophistication to it. You guys, this scent is so, so good. I did notice that they brought it back, um, that they brought the scent back. I think it was discontinued at some point. And so I'm going to see if I can get my hands on this. Um, really like this scent a lot. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, one another thing that I like about it, in addition to it being a beautiful scent, is that this is the scent that I used when me and my husband purchased our first home. And so anytime I smell this scent, it brings me back to when we first moved in. It's just a great nostalgic feeling, great scent overall. Love this scent a lot. So yeah, um, hopefully I can get my hands on it again. Like I said, I know they brought it back. Uh, my subscribers, you guys are amazing. I know you all have been leaving comments down below letting me know that the scent was brought back. I tried to purchase it online um, when they went on sale for like $5.95, but it was sold out by the time I went to go make my purchase. So yeah, hopefully I can get my hands on this again. I absolutely love it and I'm glad they brought it back. They must have heard me requesting for it. It must have heard my prayers. So yeah, check this scent out if you guys haven't. Oops, check this scent out if you guys haven't already. Coconut Men Drop, beautiful scent. You'll love it. Next scent I have here is Violet Sky. And I'm sorry, Violet Lily. And I guess it's from the Sky collection they have. Um, yeah, so that's what the packaging looks like. Really cute um, packaging. Scent notes on this one is a heavily blend of fresh violet bloom, sparkling bergamot, pink pepper, Floating on a cloud of whipped lily petals and sheer sandalwood. This was a really nice scent. It kind of put me in the mind a little bit of pink uh, lily and bamboo. But it smells a little bit more aquatic and open if that makes sense. Um, I like this scent. Not something I think I would repurchase but I enjoyed it while I used it. Next scent I have here. Um, I think this is kind of in that same line. It's called Golden Magnolia and it's in I guess like the sun line. That one was sky, this one sun. I'm not really sure, but um, scent notes on this is a luminous blend of pink magnolia, golden apricot, sunkissed peony, blooming with a touch of sensual, vanilla, and Cass's nectar. Um, this scent was also really good, but uh, you know, it's not anything I think I would repurchase. Again, like the other one, I enjoyed it while I used it, what, but it wasn't anything that blew my mind and that would make me want to repurchase. So yeah, I used this one up. Next scent I used up here, definitely one of my top fives again, you guys. Ah, oh, the scent is so good. Everybody knows that everybody loves it. Champagne Toast. You guys, I love this packaging. It's just so luxurious and beautiful looking. Love it so much. Scent notes on this, pink champagne, black currant, chambord. A sparkling nectarine sugared musk. I mean, they did so good with this scent. This is one of their signature lines. And yeah, this is right up there with In the Stars and Coconut Mint Drop for me, honestly. Yeah, this is definitely one of my top five favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Honestly, I think I need to do a video where I talk about my top five fragrances from Bath & Body Works because you guys... They got some good stuff and it actually lasts a long time. This has good lasting power. It wasn't as moisturizing as I would have liked. Um, so I think next time I get this scent, I'll probably get it in um, the body cream. And then definitely um, I have it in the fine fragrance mist. I'm just taking my time using it. And yeah, I really like this scent a lot. The, the fragrance on it, it definitely lasts though. Even though it's not that moisturizing, the fragrance is really, really good on this scent. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, you can't go wrong with champagne toast. Highly recommend it. I believe I have a backup of a shower gel and then a few of the lotions, if I'm not mistaken. And I know I have a fine fragrance mist, so happy to still have this in my collection to continue using. Next scent I used up here is a body wash, and it's the Papaya Paradise Cove Micellular Body Wash. This is what it looks like. Um, 
I'm not sure how I feel about this scent. I mean, about this fragrance scent, body lotion. I mean, body wash, whatever you want to call it. I didn't like it, honestly. Um, scent notes on it is fresh papaya, star fruit water, honeysuckle, passion fruit flower, and amber. Um, it just didn't really smell like anything to me. It just, it smelled like maybe water. It smelled like water, which doesn't really smell like nothing, right? So it's cool that they were able to capture the scent of water though, because water doesn't really smell like anything and it just smells like water. The thing I didn't like about it though, is even though it has the micellular water in it, which I know is supposed to be really good for the skin, um, nice cleansing properties and things like that. It just felt like it didn't do anything like the lather wasn't good I felt like I had to use a lot to kind of feel like I was getting somewhat clean and it just didn't leave me feeling clean overall so this is not a scent that I actually would recommend and definitely would not repurchase but I was happy to try it out like I said that my cellular water is what made me actually purchase it but man nah, this was a miss for me next I have here is a body scrub this one has the medium exfoliators that's what that looks like so um scent notes on this is uh, let me just read what it says it says volcanic ash is one of the best kept beauty secrets of the polynesian islands known for skin purifying oh here we go infused with volcanic ash detoxifying white clay clarifying activated charcoal um this body scrub purifies while giving the skin healthy looking texture and turn texture and tone okay that was long but yeah this was good I actually really enjoyed this this was one of those kind of creamy body scrubs and I actually liked it a lot it left my skin feeling really white moisturized and I definitely would repurchase this if I found it again um only thing I didn't like about it is that it's actually like a black let's see here so I'm actually here at the bottom it's like it's black and so some I'm not gonna say it like stained my um shower or anything like that but it just like left black spots that I had to make sure I washed out every time I got out the shower of using this but that was a small little thing I actually enjoyed that a lot next the scent I have here is vanilla bean noel and the body cream this is what the packaging looks like on that one um I've mentioned it before I'm not really the biggest fan of vanilla bean noel it kind of smells like a plasticky vanilla scent to me. Um, a little bit too artificial for my taste. Scent notes on it is fresh vanilla bean, sugared cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. Not something I repurchase. I do still have a body lotion and I think a travel size lotion as well. Uh, once I get those out of my collection, I probably will not. No, I know I won't. I won't be repurchasing this. Um, but I did use it up in a the hand soap and I actually liked it as the hand soap but every other form I wasn't too big of a fan of so yeah used up vanilla bean noel I know this is some people's all-time favorite but it just didn't do it for me so yeah that's that scent next thing I used up here was a small mini fine fragrance mist this is in the scent love and sunshine you guys I love this scent so much definitely one of my all-time favorite summer scents from Bath and Body Works oh it's just so it just makes me so happy to smell this scent it's like it's light it's happy it's fresh you smell the flowers in it it's just a very very pleasant scent you guys i really like this a lot and i actually i found a somewhat dupe for this at walmart i don't know if you all i think it's called 100 percent chilled by cosmopolitan um and it's also in a yellow bottle it looks like a juice container that kind of puts me in the mind of love and sunshine um, I'm not sure if they still have this scent or not, um, but I really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, and it kind of, this also reminds me of a scent that I'm currently using. Um, I think it's Daisies and Picnic Daisies or something like that. Um, I'll have a review coming on my channel soon about it, but yeah, if not already. But yeah, this, this scent is really, really good. Great summer scent if you guys are looking for one from Bath and Body Works. Highly recommend. Next, I used up a couple of wallflowers um this one i used up is frosted cranberry i absolutely love this scent is it frosted cranberry is a great winter time scent so let me see if i can get a whiff of it here yeah it's just a great winter scent yeah it's beautiful throw is great um i always get tons of compliments when people walk into my house when this is plugged in highly recommend this scent for sure next one i used up so I actually used up two. This one that I used up, I just went ahead and wrote on it with a permanent marker because it's so hard to keep up with these little tags. So I just started kind of writing on the glass with the permanent marker so I can remember which scent it was. But this one was Winter Candy Apple. This had amazing throw as well. I thoroughly enjoyed this scent. 
I would definitely repurchase this in the wallflower as well as the frosted cranberry. Next scent I used in the wallflower is the lavender vanilla. Also a great scent. It's aromatherapy. The aromatherapy line no normally has really great throw with the wallflowers like that would repurchase. And last one I used up is winter. This was a nice scent too. Oh yeah, this was great. It's uh, Fear Needles Clove and Orange. That's what that looks like here. I actually really like this a lot. It just smells like a great winter day. So great scent here. Um, I did use up as well a aromatherapy peppermint oil. Um, it's a three in one oil. Looks just like this. I ended up using this. I like this because it has like a little dropper. Um, but I ended up using this my, mainly to moisturize my body. Um, I found that using it fresh out of the shower and just applying it directly to semi-wet or oh, damp skin worked wonderfully. Um, and I also would pair it um, on top of my lotions to kind of lock in the moisture and get them to last a little bit longer. It was great to use it that way. I think originally I had tried to use it as like a room scent or something like that and it didn't quite work that well. But it worked beautifully to hydrate my skin. So yeah, I would recommend um, if you find any of the oils in this glass container, definitely pick them up, especially at SAS. I'm actually planning to to repurpose this bottle. Um, I am doing my nails a lot now. Well, I've always done my nails, but I'm going to be filming more nail tutorials on my channel. And I think I want to make my own cuticle oil. So I'm actually going to repurchase it, repurpose this bottle for using my own for making my own cuticle oil and I do have a backup of this um, super happy to have it can't wait to use it and then I used up a hand sanitizer and twisted peppermint so yeah this smells really good so here's my hand sanitizer here so I know I should have like way more hand sanitizers because hello last year crazy year um, hand sanitizer was like number one purchase item okay but um, I actually did not do too well with keeping up with all the hand sanitizers that I was using. Um, and then I also just kind of switched to using like the regular standard hand sanitizers as well. Like just the clear Germex or uh, yeah, like the clear Germex hand sanitizers. Mainly because it's a bigger bottle and so you get more product. Um, but I do still have a couple of these and a couple random purses and bags and things like that. So I think in my next empties video I'm gonna have way more especially if I can track down all these little tiny bottles but I know my husband was using them friends were using them things like that I was giving them away to people so I don't have as many hand sanitizers I think this is actually the only one that I have but hopefully in my next empties you'll see more of these but yeah these are nice the scent was great and then the last item you guys sorry for the long video is a candle so this candle is almond and this scent was great this is how it burned towards the end it didn't burn too even but the scent was amazing. I had this um, upstairs in my loft area and it just had the whole upstairs smelling absolutely amazing. This is a great scent. I definitely would recommend it and we re would repurchase it if they ever brought it back. I feel like they don't make um, one scent candles anymore from Bath and Body Works. But um, I love the shape of this uh, candle and I also love the scent in it. It's just amazing. Another thing I've been doing with my old candles too is just been putting them on candle warmers and just kind of using them as kind of waxes while they're still in the container um and that lends to why I don't have too many candle empties I should have way more than that too but one I kind of got out of the spirit of burning candles and also I just was kind of going through some of my um homemade candle waxes I used from some of my old Bath and Body Works candles so I know that was a really long video you guys um but I was happy to bring this video to you all I think when I did the math quote me if I'm wrong correct me if I'm wrong in the comments I think I mentioned 36 products in this video and that isn't even everything that I used up because like I said I couldn't keep up with some of these empties they were just coming so fast and so this is one plus year of empties using Bath and Body Works products I hope you all enjoyed this video and got an idea of some scents and fragrances and or body washes and creams that you all might want to try from Bath and Body Works um I do still really enjoy the company. I feel like these days I'm kind of leaning more towards uh, drugstore brands and just wanting to try some different things um, that I can easily get my hands on and that won't be discontinued so quickly. But I still have a huge Bath and Body Works collection and I plan on bringing you all those videos, giving you my detailed thoughts on each uh, scent, fragrance um, that I have. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
definitely let me know some of your favorites down below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And on Saturdays in particular is my Bath & Body Work video. So if you like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye! Okay, happy people, this is an overview of all the items that I mentioned in my empties video. I just wanted to go ahead and show you all this is everything I used up. I'm super proud of myself. And yeah, I'm just going to do a quick little overview here so you all can see all the products and all their glory. Yes, team, use it up. Let's go. Shop your stashes, you guys.